For some products, you know it's going to take a lot of money to get the product out of the development stage and onto the market. If you can show investors that you've got patents that protect your invention and your market, then that cannot quite often be good enough to get that first investment deal. The patent shows that a third party who has spent time to understand the field believes that what you've done is genuinely an invention. It's at the cutting edge of that technology area. Green Biologics is a renewable chemicals company. We produce chemicals such as acetone and butanol from plant material. Butanol is a multi-billion dollar industry. Um, it can be used in paints, plastics, coatings, adhesives and more. Our biobutanol is identical to petrobutanol at a molecular level, so in many cases it can be simply substituted for the petro version. We started off as a small SME. We wanted control of our own destiny and so we needed money to be able to do this to acquire our own plant in the US. So we approached investors and asked them to invest in our company and as we were looking for substantial sums of money, the investors obviously wanted to make sure that we did have a great technology and that technology was unique to us. In this case, you've got a very complex invention, a, a complex biotechnological invention, and it was known from the start that it would take years to develop this product, get it from the lab scale, develop it up in order to make a commercial product. So one of the few assets that they had with the company was their patent portfolio. And so having that, we could present that to the investors. Uh, they could see that they had a, a very good, robust, solid technology. It was protected by the patents. And so if the investors wanted to invest in that, they knew their money would be well protected. Philip has a strong scientific background. He has a PhD in the life sciences so that he understands um, very well the work that we do. And I think that's crucial in being able to capture the innovations that we make here. We were asking for large sums of money, so understandably they spent a long time going through our company with a fine tooth comb, as you would expect them to do. Um, and as part of this, they spent a lot of time looking at our patent portfolio. And they were raising questions such as, you know, why does the patent cover this or why doesn't it cover that? Uh, but in our meeting, I was able to answer all of their individual questions um, and reassure the company that we had a solid patent portfolio uh, and that, that would provide excellent protection for their investments. Over the past 10 years, we've been successful in being able to raise over 100 million US dollars. We've used this to start our first commercial plant based in the US. It's absolutely brilliant to go from being a small biotech company talking about, oh yeah, we want to do this, and actually achieving it, actually having our plant, to producing butanol, or first customers, and so on. It's great. Mm -hmm.